Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super super anticipated video because so many of you have been requesting me to do this uh, like from the past two weeks or so but I finally managed to get my hands on the Wet n Wild Holy Focus Foundation and Concealer and it's such good news that these are now finally available in India. You can find them online at nika.com but the sad fact is that they have only very limited shades available like for the foundation they have about five shades and for the concealer I think they have about three shades. For the foundation I've got it in the shade golden beige and the concealer I've got it in the shade um, this is light medium beige and this one is supposed to be the darkest shade available in Nykaa so that's really sad because in India we have more women with deeper skin tones so uh, I really hope Nykaa does something about it and gets more of the darker shades uh, soon. So both of these products are called photo focus which means they are supposed to look absolutely amazing on camera so these are basically meant for photographs and for making your skin appear like it has some kind of filter on so I'm really excited about that because I know we all here love filters I am absolutely crazy about snapchat filters because it makes your skin appear so smooth and nice so the foundation here comes for rupees um, $5.99 that is 600 rupees and the concealer comes for $3.99 which is 400 rupees I think these two are one of the most affordable foundation and concealers here in India and I have heard like tons and tons of great reviews about this foundation uh, not a lot about the concealer but today we are going to test it out and see if all of that hype is true I'm gonna be doing a demo of these and I will also be checking back with you guys after every few hours to give you guys an update if you're interested to see this review at first impressions then please keep on watching and if you like this video please don't forget to like it if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now let's get started. Hi guys, so I've just cleansed my face and moisturized it and I also went ahead and did my eye makeup because I didn't want to ruin it later. I was going for that smoky eyed look. So now it's time to test out the foundation. I'm just going to give it a good shake and it looks like that inside. It has this spatula sort of an applicator which looks pretty handy, like you don't have to uh, drop the foundation at the back of your hand or anything. You can just go directly into your face with the spatula. Just like applying it like that. Oops, I got it all over my hair. And I'm really hoping the shade matches me because it looks quite light uh, in the swatches. As always, I'm going in with my beauty blender because I love applying my foundations with my beauty blender. I'm just going to pat that foundation into my skin. And I think the foundation is slightly light for my skin, but it's not too bad, it's not too light. Um, and I really like the warm tones of this foundation. It has a really nice yellow, warm tone to it. See, this is one layer of the foundation on my skin and I must say it was quite easy to blend out. Um, it's not a very thin runny consistency and at the same time it's not too thick. It has a medium consistency and coverage wise I wouldn't say this is a full coverage foundation uh, because I can still see my skin peeking through the foundation. I can still see some of my uh, uh, some of the unevenness on my skin and I would also not say this is a light uh, coverage it's a medium coverage it does make my skin appear a lot more even but it hasn't covered my skin completely it has this very nice skin like texture to it and it does feel very lightweight on the skin uh, but at the same time when I touch my skin uh, when the foundation is on I feel like it has sort of hydrating properties it's not very drying on the skin um, though it appears to be slightly matte it has like a semi matte sort of satiny sort of a finish uh, but it does have like slightly hydrating feel to it now I just want to see if this foundation is buildable and if it can give me more coverage uh, so I'll be adding another layer of this foundation but I won't be adding too much I just add it to the areas where I need a little bit more coverage so I'm not taking too much I'm just taking a little bit of the product and going over my face I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender 
So that is two layers of the foundation on my skin and as you can see the coverage is definitely buildable. You can totally layer up this foundation. Um, the layers blend in really well together and at the same time it gives you more coverage. Um, I think right now uh, the coverage is leaning more towards a full coverage finish. So yeah, I think uh, it has done a really good job in covering up my skin. But uh, with the second layer, I feel the skin does not look as natural as it did with the first layer. Um, you can tell that you have foundation on your skin, though the texture feels and looks quite nice um, even now. But it's not very natural looking like the first layer. But still, it's uh, it looks really nice as compared to a lot of other um, full coverage foundations. So next, I'm going to take the Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just going to be applying that to the center of my face. So I'm going to take that under my eyes and I also hope this matches my skin color. I'm just going to blend that out first and give you guys a comparison of the two sides. So I'm taking the same beauty blender and blending the concealer out like how I normally would blend my concealers. Can you see the difference you guys? It is definitely brightened my under eye and I felt like the texture was slightly more thicker than what I'm used to but um, it actually blended out pretty quickly and I think this concealer is not a full coverage because I can still see a few spots um, through the concealer. It's not a full coverage but if you don't have like terrible under eye or anything like me then this concealer would work out for you but if you have um, very dark or deep dark circle then maybe this um, the coverage of this concealer might not be enough for you so now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with some powder do the rest of my face and I'll be right back so I am back and this is what my face looks like with all of my makeup on I just went ahead and baked my under eye area a bit like not too intense just a little bit of baking and then I just went ahead and set the rest of my face with some powder like I normally do and I must say I am super super impressed at the moment with both of these products the foundation it's giving me that really nice soft blurred out sort of an effect the concealer is also fairly pretty well uh, it still looks really really good but now it's time to see how long this effect is going to last so I will be checking back with you guys after every few hours to give you guys an update of how this foundation is faring so stay tuned for that hey guys so I couldn't check back with you guys after that video I got super super busy and it's already been a week but um, today morning I did the same thing that I did on um, that in that video so I applied the same foundation the same concealer I've just like switched up my makeup a bit so today I apply the foundation and concealer around 1 p.m. in the afternoon and right now the time is 3 45 so that means it's already been um, two and a half hours and my skin looks like that it looks quite nice it looks exactly how it looked when I first applied it so which means that this foundation does not oxidize I mean I haven't faced any sort of oxidizing and also you can see the foundation is pretty matte um, I set it with powder like two and a half hours ago and it still looks matte um, only my forehead is slightly starting to look dewy because I have a naturally oily t-zone area also I can see my pores uh, more than before uh, before it looked quite flawless but right now my pores are slightly visible because um, like I said I have an oily t-zone area also the concealer is faring pretty well but that's because I baked it with some powder uh, but I do see a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes and one thing I realized is um, after that uh, after filming that video I did use the concealer a couple of times and I felt like the concealer was not able to give me full coverage it's a very medium coverage concealer this concealer it creases like crazy like if you have lines or anything underneath your eyes it will crease on you so you need to work immediately so before applying powder I go ahead and you know uh, pat my sponge over the lines once more. After using this concealer a few times, I'm not the biggest fan of this concealer. Uh, as for the foundation, I didn't use it after that day, so I can't tell you anything. Uh, but I will definitely make it a point to check back with you guys um, later uh, today. Hey guys, so it's 8.30 p.m. right now and it's already dark outside, so I have my ring light on in front of me. So it's been five hours since I last checked in and it's been a total of seven and a half hours since I first applied this foundation. 
foundation and as you can see the foundation still looks pretty good however this foundation does transfer it's not transfer proof it has rubbed off a little bit from my forehead it has rubbed off a little bit on the sides of my nose as well the concealer it creases because uh, it has creased on the sides of my nose and also under my eyes the concealer has um, creased a bit uh, but as for the foundation there's no creasing my t-zone seems to be slightly shiny right now it's a little bit oily um, other than that, the foundation is faring pretty well. So I would say I'm not a big fan of the concealer, but the foundation is definitely not bad. It's actually a pretty good foundation for the price. I would say it's like uh, totally worth trying. So yeah, that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next one.